Yeah, certainly. The SA2E was launched in 2023. Um, it replaces the optical sensors of the previous SA1E, but doesn't replace the uh, SA1E laser type. The SA2E has a supply voltage between 10 and 30 volts DC. Uh, most commonly for industrial applications at 24 volt DC, so we're within that range. It also has reverse polarity protection as well. Uh, they are 31.5 by 19.5 by 7.8 millimeters, very compact. Uh, both are available, um, so we do a, a two meter or five meter cable version, or we do a connector type as well, so you can uh, easily feel replaceable and add a cable to suit. You have background suppression, through beam, polarized retroreflective and diffuse reflective. BGS stands for background suppression. Uh, basically it allows you to adjust the sensor so it can tune out everything in the background, making a much more precise switching. And it's generally not impacted by color of the object either. The SA2 has a response time of 0.5 milliseconds, which is twice as fast as its predecessor, the SA1E. The operating temperature range of the SA2 is minus 30 to plus 55 degrees and it has an IP rating of uh, IP67. Uh, through beam is uh, quite a staggering 20 meters. Polarized retro is five meters, but that does depend on the size of the reflector that it's got to get its signal back from. So it could be shorter, but maximum would be five meters. Uh, diffuse is between 100 millimeters and one meter. Uh, background suppression is 350 millimeters. The SA2E isn't suitable for detecting transparent objects. However, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, the SA1E has certain variants that have not been uh, end of life, and we have an SA1E that is designed for transparent objects like transparent bottles or transparent film. Because of the, the light source involved in the SA2E, if we had very, very small targets to pick up on, such as uh, pins on a, a, a PCB mount device, uh, we would actually go to a laser sensor, which again is part of the original SA1E series, uh, and that will allow you get to get down to 0.25 millimeters, so very small targets. 